let me welcome you to my channel. Before we begin the video, I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe and like this post. WW Hall of Famer Rikishi recently commented on Solo Sokoa pinning Roman Reigns at Crown Jewel in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The real-life Bloodline member gave his son a new nickname. Since Reigns' return at SummerSlam, he and Sokoa have been fighting over the tribal chief status. Earlier this month, the former NXT North American champion led the Bloodline to defeat the original tribal chief and the USOs in a six-man tag team match at Crown Jewel in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The square-off ended with the self-proclaimed tribal chief pinning the former Universal Champion. On his Rikishi Fatu Off the Top podcast, the Hall of Famer pointed out that the former NXT North American Champion pinning Reigns was like, Okay, you beat the GOAT, now you're considered the GOAT. The wrestling legend gave his 31-year-old son a new nickname, dubbing him the GOAT Slayer. On the same episode of his Rikishi Fatu Off the Top podcast, the Hall of Famer claimed Solo Sokoa could be the one to end Cody Rhodes' undisputed WWE Championship reign. The WWE legend pointed out that although he initially thought Reigns could be the one to accomplish the mission, he can now see his son do it after pinning the GOAT. Sokoa will probably lead the Bloodline to fight the Aug Bloodline at Survivor Series, War Games. It would be interesting to see if he can lead his team to another victory over Reigns and his partners. The WW landscape was shaken to its core when Solo Sokoa, the youngest member of the legendary Unwai wrestling dynasty, delivered an unprecedented blow to his cousin and tribal chief, Roman Reigns, at WWE Crown Jewel 2024. In a match that has fans and insiders buzzing, Sokoa shocked the world by pinning Reigns marking the end of an era of dominance for the head of the table. As the WWE Universe continues to process the implications of this monumental moment, one voice has rung out loud and clear, that of Rikishi, Solo's father, and a WWE Hall of Famer, who has officially bestowed upon his son a new nickname, to honor his rise to greatness. Crown Jewel 2024 will forever be remembered as the night Solo Sokoa stepped out of the shadows of his iconic family and emerged as a bona fide superstar in his own right. In a brutal contest that saw both men push their bodies and spirits to the limit, it seemed Roman Reigns would once again reign supreme. But when Sokoa delivered a final, devastating Samoan spike to Reigns and covered him for the pinfall, the entire WWE Universe was left in stunned silence. This was more than just a win for Sokoa, it was a statement. Roman Reigns, who had dominated WWE for over three years and established himself as the undisputed head of the Unwai family, was humbled by the very man he'd once seen as a subordinate. Solo's victory sent a clear message. The bloodline isn't just about Reigns anymore. Sokoa's triumph highlighted the shifting dynamics within one of wrestling's most powerful families, signaling a new chapter in WWE history. As news of Solo's victory reverberated throughout the wrestling world, no one felt prouder than his father, Rikishi. A legend in his own right, Rikishi has always been vocal about the importance of family, heritage, and respect within the Unwai dynasty. In recent years, Rikishi had watched his sons, the USOs and Solo, make their marks in WWE, with Jimmy and Jay capturing tag team gold and establishing themselves as one of the best tag teams in the company's history. Solo's rise has been more subtle, yet his victory over Roman Reigns at Crown Jewel solidified his place as a force to be reckoned with. In an emotional post-match interview, Rikishi shared his thoughts on his son's monumental achievement. This moment means everything. Solo didn't just pin a champion, he pinned the tribal chief, the man who carried our family's name, to the highest peak in wrestling. That's not something anyone can do, Rikishi said. But Solo did it, and in doing so, he's carved out his own legacy. It's time the world knew him not as the enforcer of the bloodline, but as his own man, a true warrior, 
a lion of the Enlai family. In true Rikishi style, he celebrated this milestone by officially giving Solo a new nickname, the Lion of the Bloodline. This title symbolizes Solo's strength, ferocity, and unyielding determination, embodying his newfound status as a leader within the family and the WWE itself. Rikishi's choice of nickname reflects his deep understanding of his son's journey and the qualities that define him. Lion is a term that resonates within the family's Samoan heritage, symbolizing bravery, honor, and the willingness to defend one's pride at all costs. By calling Solo the Lion of the Bloodline, Rikishi acknowledges that Solo is no longer just a supporting player in the Reigns-centric Bloodline saga. Instead, he's emerged as a leader, ready to protect and challenge the family legacy on his terms. The Lion of the Bloodline also highlights Solo's quiet yet powerful approach to his WWE career. Unlike Reigns, who has wielded his power with a more assertive dominance, Solo has been methodical and unassuming, often letting his actions speak louder than words. His new nickname captures this duality, showcasing that he possesses both the heart of a warrior and the mind of a strategist, just like a lion quietly stalking its prey before delivering a fatal strike. The Amway family's influence in wrestling is unparalleled. From the wild Samoans to the rock, and now Roman reigns, every generation has contributed something extraordinary to WWE. Roman's reign as the head of the table established him as the family's modern-day patriarch, a title he wielded with an iron fist. But with Solo's victory, the family dynamics have taken a dramatic turn. For the WWE Universe, Solo's pin over reigns opens the door to endless possibilities. Will Solo embrace his father's nickname and step up as the new face of the bloodline? Will he seek to establish his own faction within the family, one that perhaps challenges reigns' vision? Or could this victory serve as the beginning of a power struggle within the NY family that eventually leads to an all-out family feud? One thing is certain. Rikishi's naming of Solo as the Lion of the Bloodline sends a powerful message that he believes Solo is ready to shoulder this responsibility. For years, Roman Reigns has carried the Anwai legacy, but Solo's recent achievement suggests that the family's future may rest on his shoulders. Since Crown Jewel, fans have been quick to embrace Solo's new nickname, flooding social media with praise and excitement for the Lion of the Bloodline. Many see it as the perfect title for a man who has earned his place among WWE's elite. Fans are eager to see what's next for Solo, and whether his new moniker will lead him to even greater heights in WWE. Social media has been ablaze with reactions, from fan art of Solo with a lion motif, to calls for WWE merchandise featuring his new nickname. The WWE Universe has been captivated by Solo's meteoric rise, and with Rikishi's endorsement, it's clear that the family itself recognizes Solo's potential to carry the legacy forward. In the words of one fan on Twitter, Solo isn't just the enforcer anymore. He's a lion, ready to roar and take what's his. As the Lion of the Bloodline, Solo Sokoa faces a world of new opportunities and challenges. Roman Reigns is unlikely to take this loss lightly, and with the pride and intensity of a true champion, he'll no doubt seek retribution. This new nickname sets Solo up for a journey that could see him face Reigns in a series of high-stakes matches, each one testing his strength, resilience, and will to lead.